Emma Raducanu took the sporting world by storm in 2021. At 18 and ranked 338 in the world rankings, she became the youngest British woman to reach the fourth round of Wimbledon for more than 60 years. Having arrived with career earnings totaling £27,000, she left the All England club £182,000 richer and jumped more than 150 places up the WTA leaderboard. That in itself was enough to make the British public sit up and listen. Britain had a new sporting superstar, but Raducanu wasn't done there. Three months on from her fourth round retirement against Isla Tomljanovic, Raducanu became the first qualifier to win a Grand Slam as she tasted US Open glory. She was a 400 to 1 outsider to win the title at the tournament's beginning. On top of the cool $2.5 million she pocketed in US Open prize money, Raducanu has gone on to land lucrative sponsorship deals from the likes of Porsche, Tiffany and Dior, with some industry experts tipping her to become Britain's first billion-dollar athlete. But what has her impact been on tennis in Britain thus far? And how significant a figure could she be for this proud Grand Slam hosting nation? Measuring an athlete's reach isn't always a straightforward task, but of the figures currently accessible, Raducanu's broad appeal can't be underestimated. For starters, Channel 4 reported that a whopping 12.6 million UK viewers tuned in for her US Open final win over Canada's Leila Fernandez, a figure nearly 5 million greater than Wimbledon's highest peak for the 2021 championships. A BBC live stream showing her fourth round defeat at Wimbledon was only 300,000 viewers short of the men's final. In the digital age, an online following can't be ignored, and Raducanu's is impressive. As of May 2022, the 19-year-old boasts 2.3 million Instagram followers. Extraordinarily, she has roughly half a million more followers than Andy Murray, her compatriot and a three-time Grand Slam champion. Of course, the health of British tennis depends not only on getting eyes on TV screens and clicks on profiles, but also getting rackets in hands. Traditionally, it's not been a straightforward task. Despite Murray being recognised as one of, if not the greatest British athlete of all time, his success didn't always inspire flocks of people to take up the sport in his home country. Indeed, a year after his first Wimbledon title in 2013, there was a decline of nearly 39,000 adults over the age of 16 in England playing tennis once a week in a year, compared to the previous 12 months. Understandably, Murray and his family have never been shy about pointing the finger at the Lawn Tennis Association (LTA) for failing to capitalise on his profile. The early signs are that Raducanu's impact is being felt more. According to data from grassroots sports team management app Spond, the number of tennis participants in the UK shot up by an astonishing 119% in 2021, with roughly 42% of that growth, around 100,000 players, coming after Raducanu's historic US Open victory. The rise follows five years of decline. What is particularly notable is the effect she is having on young girls, with a 15% rise in under-18 female grassroots tennis players from June, before she made her Wimbledon breakthrough, to August, according to Spon's data. There have been suggestions that British tennis is even struggling to cope with the demand. Waiting lists at tennis clubs are lengthy, and in many areas, there aren't enough coaches to cater for the number of wannabe tennis stars. The expectation is that things will only get better. International Tennis Federation President Dave Haggerty has tipped Raducanu to have the same impact on British tennis as the Williams sisters. It's clear the LTA is determined to avoid similar accusations that have been levelled against the organisation in the Murray era, and they are pushing to make the most of what's been dubbed the Raducanu effect. Raducanu has already become an ambassador for LTA Youth, a new programme aimed at children aged 4 to 18 that hopes to broaden the spectrum of kids involved in the sport. And an Emma Raducanu trophy tour has already seen schools across the United Kingdom be paid a visit by her US Open trophy, with the LTA openly stating it hopes to capitalise on her success by inspiring the next generation of tennis players. It's too early to predict the long-term impact of Raducanu on British tennis, 
No one can know for sure exactly how her career will pan out, but one thing's for certain, it's been a mighty impressive start.